got a cold EGT on number six. We'll have to go back to the hangar. All right, welcome back, fellow aviators, to the Cockpit 210. We just got the airplane out of annual, so a really interesting flight that we're going to do today. Unedited video, mostly unedited video. I may touch up a few things here and there just to kind of keep things moving along, but I kind of want to show you my full process. Really going to pay attention to what's going on in the airplane. We got a new exhaust system in there, so going to pay a temper t attention to the temperatures. November 6048, November Georgetown, ground squawk 0623, 0623, departure 119.0. 0623 and 119.0 for 604 in November. 0623. November 45, Mike Hotel, Georgetown. 190. Go ahead, sir. November 45, Mike Hotel, go to the Rogers Airport. I'll turn that volume down a little bit for now. Uh, so going to pay really close attention to my temperatures and pressures and everything that's going on in the airplane. Uh, Mike Bush did a really good job and wrote a really nice article for AOPA some years back. I'm going to put a link in the description below that really does a good job about going into what you need to check when your airplane's coming out of manual. So we're going to go through that checklist. We're going to make sure everything's operating the way it's supposed to be. And uh, I'm going to take you guys along on that. Like I said, it's mostly an unedited video. I kind of want you to see what I'm, what I'm seeing. I'm going to talk through what I'm seeing. Uh, look for about a 30 minute flight, kind of shake things down and see how things look. Want to make sure the avionics work right, want to make sure the autopilot works right. Like I said, the exhaust temperatures, going to keep an eye on those, make sure they're right where I want them to be. And then we're going to talk a little bit next flight home to Shreveport tomorrow, which will be the next video after this one, and I'll let you guys know what came out of the oil analysis. So, really feel like we dodged a bullet there. Uh, wasn't a big deal. Really happy about that. A little disappointed in uh, what's going on with it, uh, but I learned something about it, and I'm going to share that with you. So, you guys come along. I hope you enjoy the flight. I hope you learned something, and I uh, appreciate you being here. So, let's get started. Go through my checklist before takeoff. Parking brake set. Cabin doors, windows. I'm going to leave this window open for now. Cow flaps full open. Flight controls free and correct. Flight instruments check. I've already checked my uh, turn coordinator. It was operating perfectly. Everything else looks like it's running right. Engine instruments good. Pressures, temperatures look good. Fuels on the fuller tank. Mixture full rich. Rudder trim set for takeoff. And throttle 1700 RPM. We're going to check magnetos and propeller. Short of runway 36. Juliet, on to 11, hold short of runway 36. One aim and whiskey. Got a good drop. Good drop. And good job on that propeller. I'm noticing that my, uh, correction, my uh, cylinder head temperatures are a little warmer. Uh, than they've normally been. So, going to keep an eye on that. Uh, make sure there's nothing going on there, but uh, it just may be a function of that exhaust system. Check this out, everybody. The B-25 Devil Dog is taxiing out. Looks like they're going to fly it today or do a run-up or something. I was just about to call ground and get that taxi. And Georgetown Ground 604, the members at the Compass Rose Radio Taxi. November 1 a.m. with you. You can make a 180 on the runway there, taxi back to Genesis, and uh, let me know. Are you coming back out? Uh, yes, we will. We'll do a 180 back to Genesis, 1 a.m. Whiskey. Roger, we'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, thank you very much, 1 a.m. Whiskey. November 4 8, November, did you check in for taxi? Affirmative for 604 in November. November 4 8, November, runway 36, taxi via Mike, runway 29 or Lima. Follow Archer traffic that'll join Lima ahead of you crossing the runway. All right, Mike, 2 Niner, Lima, behind the Archer for 604, in November. Clear for taxi, going to put that taxi light on. Gonna double check those temperatures. Everything looks good. I like what I'm seeing there. Yeah, so the B-25, the Devil Dog, is based here. And uh, they usually take it to Sun and Fun Ground, uh, five, six, and Oshkosh. I was based here for a period of time. I don't know if any of y'all know that. But uh, I've actually never seen it flying out of here, so that's really cool. Really excited to see it. The beautiful airplane. Oil temperature looks good. Cylinder head, all looks good. You guys, a shot of that in here. Actually, I 
take that back. I've got a cold EGT on number six. We'll have to go back to the hangar. And George Graham, ground 6048 November. November 6048 November, George Graham. Ground. Yeah, I just noticed I've got a cold EGT. Um, any chance I can do a 180 and get back to BNG? Are you second in line out there? Uh, no, sir. I'm fourth in line, second behind the uh, B-25. That's what I meant. You're the, you're the highway in Cessna, right? Affirmative. November 6048 November. Yeah, you can do a 180 there and taxi back to BNG via runway 29 or back taxi and Mike. All right, 290 and Mike back to the BNG for 40 minutes. Thanks. I should have caught that before I got where I'm at. Oh, googly moogly. Georgetown ground, Dakota A125 Alpha at the compass rose with Delta IFR to Waco. Georgetown ground, Skyhawk 5327 Gulf at the fuel pumps with Delta. Request taxi for VFR departure to the northeast and we'll need to run up. November 5327 Golf, Georgetown Ground, runway 36, eastbound departure, taxi via Foxtrot Lima, cross runway 29. 36 for eastbound, uh, taxi Foxtrot Lima, cross 29, or Scott 532. All right, we got everything straightened out. It was a loose connection on that number six cylinder. So, cranked everything back up. Going to have to go through the uh, entire process again and uh, get my clearance and check everything out. But uh, that's what this flight is for. That's why I don't have anywhere to be today. We're gonna make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Everything's perfect, squared away. So that's just the nature of the beast. Everything's looking good and squared away now. That's what we wanna see. Good deal. Tower ATIS information echo time 1602 Zulu. Wind 320 at Niner, visibility 10 miles, sky clear. Temperature 18, 2.16, altimeter 290. Georgetown landing and departing, runway 36, visual approach. Bird advisories are in effect. Departing via for aircraft, advise ground control, direction of flight. Aircraft established on taxiway Alpha, give way to aircraft exiting runway 36 at taxiways Juliet and Delta. Notice to airmen, runway 18, Pappy out of service. <coughs> Construction crane, 0.94 nautical miles, northeast, 180 feet HL and below. Advice you have echo. Georgetown Ground Centurion 604, the members at BNG, ready to taxi again. Like to go to that east practice area for a maintenance flight. 604, November, Georgetown Ground, runway 36, taxi via Mike, runway 29 Lima. Mike 29 Lima for 604, November. Put that taxi light on. Ground, Number 32 Golf, Georgetown Ground, taxi via Juliet onto runway 11, hold short of runway 36. This will most likely work out better anyway. Looks like the traffic's gotten out of the way. I apologize you guys did miss seeing the Devil Dog take off, but at least you got a little video of it. If you're not uh if you're not spending time November Georgetown ground, I have a new code for you. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, so I stopped right here on 2-9 because I saw that other airplane coming out, but uh, go ahead for 4 November. November 4 8, November Squawk, uh, where'd it go? November 4 8, November Squawk 0616. All right, 0616 for 604 November, still cleared, Mike 2-9 Lima for 4 November, correct? Yes, sir, I should have advised you that they are taxiing as well. November 4 8, November taxi via runway 2 er Lima and follow the uh, white archer that'll be crossing your nose. All right, two nine or Lima, and follow the Archer for six zero four in November. Torch on top, ground Cessna crew check four fifty two solo student is at the compass rose with the. A little bit disconcerting when you're turning on a runway. You have somebody headed straight at you. November one eight. Uh, number, it's November 3-2 Golf, Georgetown Ground, cross runway 36, on runway 1-1, then taxi via Lima and follow the Cessna that's coming towards you on uh, runway 29. All right, temperatures look good. All my temperatures look good. I don't know how I missed that number six last time. I don't know if that was confirmation bias or what. Maybe it dropped out, but it's good now. Six by six. Tomahawk 62 Charlie, is this your second call or first call? First call, 62 Charlie. Okay, one of the aircraft didn't get answered a second ago. Go ahead. Uh, November 4507, November. It was Echo at Pilot Show's request for now.
southbound uh, work pattern. November 4507, November Georgetown Ground. Taxi North End Hotel for run up advice. Georgetown Tower, Centurion 604, November's ready to go 36 at Lima number 2. November 604, in November, fly runway heading, runway 36, cleared for takeoff. Fly runway heading, cleared for takeoff, 36, 604, in November. Georgetown, uh, Kodiak 733, Romeo Zulu, uh, inbound. Uh, Put that heading bug on 36. Uh, to the west with information echo. Line up on the center line. Kodiak 733, Romeo Zulu, Georgetown Tower, uh, Squawk. Red line, red line. 610, join the midfield, left downwind, runway 36. 0630, midfield, left downwind, 363, Romeo Zulu. 4225, is that turbo lag? 100 on the heading and contact off and departure. Okay, 100, going to Austin, Cap 4225. Short time tower, Arizona 761, hold short of 36 at Lima, ready for one lap in the pattern. Looking for 80 knots, rotate. Fly runway heading, or correction, fly right traffic, runway 36, clear for takeoff. Right traffic, runway 36, clear for takeoff, Arizona 761. Positive rate, gears coming up. Kodiak 3, Romeo Zulu, that beacon code is 0610, 0610. 0610, apologies, 3 Romeo Zulu. Cap 4225, and we're accelerating. Flaps coming up. In November 4, 8 November, what's your on course heading? Uh, 4 8 November, we'll take it probably 060 if that works for traffic out to the east. Roger. And that uh, station there just part of the heading is off your right, going to the northeast. Where are members looking for the traffic? And Kodiak 3, Romeo Zulu, just join the left downwind, runway we'll 36, and be advised, had some bird activity at the approach end, runway 36, use caution on your uh, approach 30 end. 30 inches of manifold, pressure 2,500 RPM. Yeah, I'm going to look out through Romeo Zulu. Georgetown Coast, this is a good check. 4,600 is holding short of runway 36 at Lima, ready for takeoff. All my temperatures look good. Follow the Cherokee ahead, fly right traffic, runway 36, clear for takeoff. We'll follow that traffic, right traffic, uh, runway 36, clear for takeoff, Cessna, check 452. And Tower 4, and remember, I do not have that traffic in sight. November 4, 8 November, he's well off to your southeast now. Okay, I, I'll take that turn whenever you're ready for it. 4, 8 November, you can turn out to the east and uh, contact off the departure 119.0. Alright, off to the east of 119.0 for 4, 8 November, thanks. Alright, all temperatures 170, that looks good. Gonna go up to about 3,000 feet. 123 to go up to our turn left on course, on way 36, clear for takeoff. Left on course, runway 36, clear for takeoff, 1, 2, 3, to go. Try that number two radio. Nova Bar 839, Romeo Sierra, contact San Antonio approach, 127.1. We have a good day, Romeo Sierra. And also departure Centurion 604 November's off of Georgetown 2.2 climbing for 3,000 for a short maintenance flight to the east. No, we're uh, 4 8 November Austin departure radar contact four miles north of Georgetown climbing out of 2,300. 4 8 November. Shiner 65 climb and maintain 6,000. BP 4,000 for 6,000. All right, everything's looking good. We're going to go ahead and turn that autopilot on. Get my command bars up first. Let's do that. 500 feet a minute. Approach, Scott. Command Seven bars. That heading right there. 737 Delta Papa, go ahead. 737 Delta Papa, Cessna 172. We're going to be working a photo mission today uh, in route for our first site two miles south of Lakeway. We'll be at 2000. That autopilot, see how she does. Delta Papa, Squawk 0213. 0213, 7 Delta Papa.
double check those temperatures. Everything is looking good. Number 7 Delta Papa, radar contact 3 miles to the east of Spicewood at 2500. Report on station. Wilco, 7 Delta Papa. Number 1232 Golf, Austin departure. Radar contact, altimeter 2988. Resume on navigation for San Antonio and via park line to request that altitude is approved. 2988, resume on nav to San Antonio via for altitude approved. 1232 Golf, appreciate it. I'm not sure what was going on with that radio back at Georgetown, but everything's working the way it should now. Get that cow flap closed all the way. Commander, Zero Golf Whiskey, can you accept 8,000 as your final for slower traffic going to the same place? Uh, zero Golf Get that whiskey, power set for cruise. Uh, lower would be better for me since I'm getting close, uh, but I could do eight if you need it. Yeah, there's a uh, Cessna, there's a helicopter and a Cessna Skyhawk going in the um, direction, and they're both going at 6,000 as well. Okay, would 4,000 help you? I don't know, I can talk to center, but they generally want you above 5,000. Yeah. Zero Golf Whiskey, I can go to 8. Roger, Zero Golf Whiskey, thank you. Climb and maintain 8,000. Up to 8,000, Commander Zero Golf Whiskey. All right, that 206 traffic is off my right wing, but they're 1,500 feet above me. Make that right-hand turn. And we'll do a turn back to the north. Contact reapproach, 134.35. The good thing about this area, and because I flew out of here, I wanted to go to the east because there's a lot of agricultural fields out here. And that allows me to make sure that I can uh, have plenty of options in case I need to have an off-site landing. Then I've got a wide open area. And I think that's really important that uh, no matter where you're at, if you're going to do a maintenance flight, you need to pick the area that you're going to fly in so you have as many options as you can possibly have. I, I, just, I can't say that enough to always give yourself outs, give yourself options, and make sure that... Uh, you, you can set yourself up for the best scenario possible. Number 6034 Alpha Austin approach, altimeter 2988. 2988. Austin approach, Shiner 65. Can we go direct Syrix with the uh, RNAV into Fredericksburg? Shiner 65, direct Fredericksburg right now, and uh, you can make that request with the next sector. Shiner 65, will do. Like the autopilot's going to do what it's supposed to do and what it needs to do. Check those temperatures again. Austin departure, cutter flight 183, just off of Georgetown. Number uh, six cylinder head temperatures wonky now. 3, Cutter flight 183, Austin departure, radar contact four miles north of Georgetown at 3,000. Climb and maintain uh, 4,000 and clear direct to, uh, clear direct to uh, Horseshoe Bay. Okay, climb and maintain 4,000, direct Horseshoe Bay, cutter flight 183. And Austin approach, 604 November, I'll take it back to Georgetown. 604 November, resume on navigation. Oh, now to Georgetown for it, November. You want me to stay with you? Uh, wait for me to switch you, please. We'll go for it, November. All right, kick that autopilot off. Get my air speeds down. 565 Papa Whiskey, maintain VFR, altimeter 2988. 2988, maintain VFR. Coast Guard 2301, contact gray approach 120.07. Below 140 gears coming down. Already got 10 degrees of flaps in. Papa Whiskey, squawk 2501. 2501, five Papa Whiskey. Austin approach, Skyline November 2698, Golf, level 5000. Have echo. November 2698, Golf, approach altimeter 2988. 565 Papa Whiskey, your radar contact 10 miles north of Spicewood at 3,000. And um, maintain VFR, fly heading of 080. 080 at 3,000, 5 Papa Whiskey. 
four eight November. Contact Georgetown Tower. Four November's going tower. Good day. Georgetown Tower, six zero four November seven to the northeast, inbound for landing with Echo. In November. 4 November, Georgetown Tower, just uh, fly present heading, traffic just on the roll as the citation will be turning out to the southeast. 4 November, continue present heading, be looking for the traffic, I see him on the roll there. Okay, just watch for him, we'll be turning out to the uh, east on 100 heading, climbing to 3. 4 November, we'll keep an eye on it. Thank you. Georgetown Tower, Tomahawk 2462, Charlie, holding short of runway 36. Tomahawk 2462, Charlie, Georgetown Tower, fly runway heading, runway 36, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 36, fly runway heading, 6 to Charlie. Citation 5, Hotel Mike, contact Austin, awesome departure. Okay, sir, over to departure, 45 Mike Hotel. Georgetown Tower, Archer 5231 Kilo, holding short of 36 on Lima. Number 5231 Kilo, Georgetown Tower, Roger. Traffic, 12 o'clock, 2 miles, 1,100 feet above. Thank you, Gladys. Air traffic has that, uh, 4 November has that traffic in sight. 10 4 November, thanks. Just join the right downwind, runway 36. Join the right downwind, 36, 4 November. Number 5231 Kilo, fly runway heading, runway 36, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, cleared for takeoff 36, 531 Kilo. Track 631, resume on navigation, midfield right downwind, runway 36. Midfield right downwind, runway 36, track 631. Tomahawk 62, Charlie, traffic 2 o'clock, mile and a half, joining the downwind to station, or uh, Centurion Port to traffic and sign. Uh, traffic and sign, 62, Charlie. Maintain visual, proceed on course. Georgetown Tower, 987 Romeo Alpha, 36 Rayford, Berkshire. 10 November, 987 Romeo Alpha, Georgetown Tower, the departing Cherokees, heading out to the east, make a left. Left downwind departure, southbound, I'll call your turn on course. Runway 36, clear for takeoff. Okay. For takeoff, I'll make a left turn out, and you'll call my base, or my turn, 97 Romeo Alpha. Georgetown Tower, 9451, Tango, holding short at runway 36, ready to departure. Five minutes later. Number 9045, one tango, Georgetown Tower, fly runway heading, runway 36, clear for takeoff. Heading. Runway heading, 36, clear for takeoff, 5-1 tango. Number 48, Mike, base your discretion, runway 36, put land, there'll be traffic departing prior to arrival. Uh, is that for 6 or 4 November, base my discretion. Number 48, November, affirmative. All right, 4 November, base my discretion. And runway uh, 36, cleared to land for November 4, 8 November. Cleared to land 36 for 6 or 4 November, thank you. George downtown, November 4, 5, 0, 7. November, hold the short runway 36. This is what happens when you get in a busy environment. November 4, 5, 0, 7. You need to concentrate on what's going on. Don't want to mix up those radio calls. November 31 Kilo, resume on navigation. Resume on navigation, 31 Kilo. Crew track 631, traffic 12 o'clock, two miles, climbing out southeast, bound is a uh, Cherokee, I believe, 2,300 climbing. Traffic inside, crew track 631. Roll in with that prop, got a wheel, got a green. And, uh,
November 7 on me off of traffic just off your nose is climbing out to the east. Get that last notch of flaps. I got him inside out. Were you going to call my turn or you want me to go ahead and make the turn? I need some romance. I wanted you in the left turn. Now, I called it earlier. I was going to call your turn on course. Left downwind departure. Okay, left downwind departure. I have him in sight. And who was number one at the hold short? I missed that. Uh, 4507 November. Roger, hold short, runway 18 for November, 4507 November, Five landing hundred. traffic. Waiting for the landing traffic of 4507 November at 36. And November 31 Kilo, where are you going? You were supposed to go east. One mile final runway 36. Uh, we were looking to turn right, but we've got the uh, aircraft off our right, so we had to stop our turn. Okay, uh, he's climbing above you now, just uh, one able to proceed on course eastbound. Yeah, we're turning right on course, 31 Kilo. but we got the power back a little bit below 90 knots. Gonna come right in there. Boy, they are stacked up. Six airplanes waiting to take off with another one coming in. In November uh, 7, Romeo, if you could maintain 3,500, you have traffic 2 o'clock, about 4 miles north. Eastbound is a, well, disregard, he's at, let me see what, he's at, yeah, he's at 4,000 feet, so maintain Woo! 35 if you could. That was exciting. And it's a Cirrus at 2 o'clock and about uh, 3 miles. Fly to a stop. I have him on the box, I need some Romeo. November 4, November, turn right at Juliet, contact ground. Right on Juliet to ground for 604, November. November 4507, November 4, That's right uh, 119, Right track, runway 836, clear for takeoff, 4507, November. Can you have the Cirrus for uh, November 7, Romeo Alpha? And Georgetown ground 4, November is clear, 36. Going to a B and G. November 4, 8 November, George on ground, taxi Alpha Fox. Alpha Fox drop for 4, 8 November. Okay, that was a good flight. Everything looked good except that number six, uh, uh, EG, uh, correction, cylinder head temperature. But we'll have the guys take a look at that. We, we already noticed that. There was a little bit of chafing on one of those wires. I think that was the cylinder, or correction, the uh, EGT that we'd already looked at. It was kind of odd, that number six. It just giving us fits. Probes, I was talking to the mechanic, Matt. Uh, he was telling me that, you know, he spends a lot of time troubleshooting probes and wiring. They're, they're great tools. They're great resources to have. Um, but when you do go through maintenance like we have and you replace that system, Go ahead and uh, put my countdown or correction count up timer on. Let that turbocharger spin down. But uh, when you go through maintenance, you're going to have little gremlins like this. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time to be able to work these things out and make sure your airplane is good to go. So I've got all day today to, to make sure that this airplane is right. And these guys are always great about uh, anything that does come up. This has only happened one other time. And... Uh, but uh, they take really good care of me here, and I'm, I'm really grateful for the work they do and the service they give. So we'll get it straightened out, and uh, we'll see you uh, on the next flight. I'll let you know how it works out, and uh, we'll go from there. But check out that article by Mike Bush in the AOPA magazine. I've got it in the description below. It's a really good article that talks about how to check out your airplane and things to look for. So uh, always be safe out there. I hope you guys have blue skies and tailwinds, and I look forward to seeing you all on the next one.